Good morning, Real Closers. Welcome back to another Power Hour. Uh, we had a little bit of a conflict of uh, schedules and we weren't able to make it yesterday, but we're here today. We're here today. So how's it going, Gustavo? Going good, going good. Uh, here back to another week of Power Hour. We got some good, some good nuggets to share today. Awesome, awesome. And today we're going to talk about something different. We've talked about how an ISA can help you make outrun calls. But a lot of the, you know, the, 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 the real estate agents right now are working on their database. Now, keeping track of your database, you know, keeping that follow up, that nurturing process can also be time consuming, especially when you have, you know, a thousand leads, 2000 leads that you've built over, you know, last six months. Like, what do you do with that? How can an ISA really help you nurture that database? What do you think? Well, why don't you take it away, Gustavo, and then I'll put in some, uh, some of my yeah. own experience. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, a great, great point there, Roberto. I think an ISA can really help you with that. And, and, and you know, sometimes and we and I love talking about the outbound prospecting and the expires and FISBOs because it's really hot right now because the market is shifting. But the majority of the work we do at Power ISA, I would have to say two-thirds of the work we do is the nurturing and conversion work, right? For these inbound leads, the database, right? Those 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Uh, leads that people have in the database, old internet leads, past clients, right? People in their sphere. That is the majority of the work that we do precisely because of what you said, Roberto. It's a grind, man. It's a lot of work to convert those internet leads. And I think the biggest thing people need to, to approach those internet leads with is that this is the tax you have to pay to get deals from the internet. I, I, I don't think we should, you know, I don't think we should have the mindset of, oh, this is too much work. You know, I don't want to do this, whatever. Guys, these are unmet leads. They have no idea who you are. They know you're in real estate and they've got a question, a thought, an inkling, some kind of some kind of plan to do something in real estate. And you're getting a chance to talk to them first, right? Before they've talked to another dozen agents. So I think if we change our mindset a little bit and just understand this is what it takes to convert internet leads, I think you can have a lot of success with that. I have clients that have, that, you know, in the last 12 months, have closed 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 deals from, from Facebook leads, right? And a lot of people, they poo-poo the Facebook leads. Oh my goodness, they're too top of funnel. I, I don't want to work with those. They're not ready to go. They're not pre-approved. They don't want to go look at homes tomorrow. I don't want to work with them. Like folks, if you want those leads that are bottom of funnel, that's a 35% commission charge. A lot of these companies want to give you now, right? The top of the funnel is where you're going to get the massive returns, right? But the there, it takes more work. Of course, it takes more work, right? That's why you've got to accumulate them. Don't take on five leads and then hope one of them closes in the next six months. That's just not how it works. you got to grab 100 leads because five of them are going to be executing in the next few months. Find those five, right? And give them your best shot. The team that do this at the highest level can convert five out of 100 leads. The team that do it at the highest level. And all of them have ISC because it is a lot of work, right? And getting that database, following up with these leads is the number one thing you can do to maximize the return on those internet leads. And sometimes when the teams, they come to us, they've got these big databases of, you know, hundreds, if not thousands, of, especially old internet leads. And they're thinking that, you know what? Yeah, I don't get any good anymore. One of the first things we do is call them and do what we call a rekindling campaign. Rekindle those leads. Send them a text message, give them a call, give them multiple touches to see if anybody responds. And, and two things can happen, right? Actually, I'll, I'll take it. Three things can happen. Number one, you get in contact with them and they've already bought or sold a home. Okay, that's not great news, but it, just, it should motivate you saying that, hey, these leads were top of the funnel six months ago. They're not top of the funnel anymore, right? A lot of them may have already purchased. You waited a little bit too long to follow up with them. They've already gone with someone else. That should motivate you to say, I can get a much higher return from these leads than I anticipated. That's not a bad news. That's not bad news, right? I say, I take it in the most positive way you can. Find the other ones that are still in that process, right? That's one outcome. The other outcome is maybe you don't get in touch with them anyway. That can happen, right? A lot of these leads are going to stay on contacted. Don't let that stop you. The third outcome, the most powerful one is, yeah, they're still thinking about it. They haven't done anything yet. That's a good outcome, right? They're, they're, they were top of the funnel. They're further down than the funnel. And that's when your ISA and yourself should focus on delivering value to them. 
educating them, teach them something they don't know. That's a, that's a new phrase I'm, I'm harping on a lot these days. When you're talking to an unmet, it's important, this is important detail, unmet internet lead, like most of them are, unmet lead, the most important thing you can do on that first contact, teach them something they don't know about the market, about the process, about real estate, about your area. Why is it a good time to invest in that area? Are there any new companies coming to the area? Are there any big improvements? Are there new schools? Are there new awards for those schools? Is there anything new about the area that someone should get excited about if they're thinking of buying or selling a home there? You should teach them about that. Is there, as the market shifts, this might be news to people, right? They, it's a much easier to buy a home than it was six, seven, eight months ago, like way easier. What are those bidding wars looking like now? Are those FHA, VA, USDA loans getting accepted? Those offers getting accepted now, right? Teach them something they don't know about the market. And that's the most important thing you can do once you make contact with them. So out of those three outcomes, you're looking for that third one, right? And it happens, folks. I, I sometimes, because it puzzles me when folks believe that these older internet leads, they're useless, right? Oh, they're gone, they're dead, right? Folks, they were top of the funnel six months ago. Where do you think they're going to be now, right? They were top of the funnel a year ago. Where do you think they're going to be now, right? So never, don't throw those away. Never discard those. Those are great to train your teammates. They're great to train your ISA and get them productive so they can build up the confidence and the skill to work those brand spanking new internet leads, right? That's a great way. There's a lot of advantages to work in that database. The biggest one is it's a great place to build a lot of skill for new teammates, new ISAs, for anyone on your team. There's so many uses for those. It always frustrates me when folks kind of feel that that, that database is dead. It's only dead if no one is calling it, no one is texting it, no one is responding to those texts. That's one of the biggest roles our ISAs play, right? Engaging the leads that reach out, right? That's one of the biggest things they can do, making sure that that database is being properly nurtured. A properly nurtured database can be a great producing asset for you. Absolutely, absolutely. I just wanted to chime in with one of the things we did for our team right now. Uh, we added a second ISA, right? So we have another one who's making outbound calls, FISBOs, expireds, you know, setting up those appointments, figuring out who is ready to talk to someone else about the possibility of maybe, maybe be open to an agent, right? But then we're still spending a lot of time in the back end with follow-up, right? We have a lot of internet leads that are coming in. We touch them on the first, you know, as soon as they come in, we call them, we try to get them on the phone, but you know, you know how it works. You know, we, we probably get a good, very small percentage of people who pick up the phone on the first call. So yeah. now we have our second ISA and we're training them. We just started last week and basically her job is to nurture that database by making additional calls and trying to provide value. Cause one of the things that a lot of the internet leads come in, at least with the type of ads we're running is they want to see a list of homes, right? They, they want, they want to have access to what's on the market right now. And that's the whole thing we're doing with the new ISA. All right, so she's making those calls and offering that list of homes. Hey, can I send you a list of homes in the area that you're looking at, right? We're able to get from the leads that we're running, we're able to get the area they're looking at. So it's like, hey, can we send you more homes in that area? And then we're trying to work with the ISA so that she, so that she can gauge intent, right? How soon do, do, are they thinking of moving? And based on that is like, all right, so let me keep sending you more homes. Or have you talked to your bank? Have you talked to your lender yet? Right? And that's key to move to the second stage where we can jump in and start figuring out how else we can help. But we're trying to make sure that the database is, is being worked on. You know, the, the leads that are in the back end, people that came in like six months ago, you're right. I mean, yes, they were top of funnel leads, but not no more. <laughs> not yeah. no more, you know, they're, they're, they're and it's, it's interesting. We've talked about this, right? Gustavo is like, We've run a lot of lead revival campaigns, you know, in the past for a lot of different agents, a good 10 to 20%. If you didn't touch them in six months, they're like, we already bought. 
Exactly. And that is probably one of the most frustrating calls in real estate. I get it, right? I have a lot of empathy. Like, oh no, right? I, I, I was putting it off, putting it off, didn't make the call, didn't make the call. You make the call and guess what? They already, someone else made the call you didn't want to make before, followed up and maybe even followed up more effectively, right? Had a better script or maybe they just showed up, Roberto. They were there, right? Being there is half the battle. And they took that buyer, saw that home and closed on it. It is way easier to take those buyers by the hand and get them a home now than it's been in the last two years, right? So those buyer leads, a lot of people were discarded and they're not paying much attention to them. They're going to pay a lot more attention to them in the next coming months for sure. And, but it starts with that. It starts with that. Don't be that agent that calls everybody six months later and you're surprised that they're no longer top of the funnel, waiting for your call, waiting for that follow-up. That's just not the way it works. Exactly. Exactly. You have to, you have to be consistent. And you know, it's funny, like what you mentioned, right? Someone was willing to take that extra step. We, we actually just got a lead, a lead in a, a couple, about a week ago. And the response that we got from all the text messages and all the emails, the automated, you know, market report, the automated list of home property alerts that, that we're using through the, the CRM that we're using is, oh my goodness, you are the only agent. And I've registered with so many websites. You're the only agent who actually took the time and started sending me all these, you know? So now I want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, definitely. It's not, just, it, exactly, and that, it's not just about making that one call and that's it, right? It, it's figuring out systems around your business and leveraging, you know, and what we're talking about today, right? ISAs to help you set those up because those are time consuming, man. Like setting up like property alerts, trying to figure out what, you know, the properties they're looking at. It's admin work that you can save by, by, by leveraging someone who's, who, who you're training to be part of your team, right? But absolutely, absolutely. How can I ask, an ISA help you with your database? Ask me and I'll let you know exactly how we're training them. Um, and yeah. we're going to drop the link to uh, Gustavo, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, but it's really simple for folks watching this that want more information. If you need a new ISA, full-time ISA, experienced caller, and guess what? You don't want to be tied down with month-to-month -month contracts. You don't have that at Power ISA. And, you, and everything you pay on a monthly basis goes 100% to your, to your ISA, right? So if you're interested, you want to check out that offer, it's Power ISA slash Real Closers. We'll pop the link in the comments below. PowerISA.com slash Real Closers. Let's help you get an experienced, awesome ISA that has the skills to really kill it in this job. We recruit the top 10% of the whole call center industry for these positions. The folks that have the native English, they've got the skill set. If you're doing nurturing follow-up and appointment setting, they've got those customer service skills, those appointment setting skills. If you want someone that's going to be doing outbound prospecting, cold calling, they've got that background and skill set as well. We'll you can connect you with the right person to do the job for you. Exactly. And I can attest to that. I can attest to that. I've been working with Gustavo for the last, well, we've known for, for, for quite a few years now, but finally put me in a, <laughs> pulled the yeah, trigger and actually year. got started with the nice say. Definitely. And we put it all together this year, man. It's awesome. And I'm, I'm happy that you guys are growing and you need more help. That's what I like to see, right? That's what I like to see. As a, here's a crazy stat, right? As the market shifts, as you know, a lot of folks are struggling. There's companies going out of business right now, Roberto. Some of these high tech, you know, uh, capital intensive startups closing their doors, really. And from mortgage companies, a lot of folks. We, this month, August, we're going to sell more of these ISA campaigns than I think we've ever sold, right? And the month isn't even over yet. We've already broken our sales record and we're at the 30th. One more day, one more day uh, uh, to even further that record. The reason is, when people have a shift, when people are more careful with their money, they rush to value. That's what they're going to spend money on. They don't have any budget for Zillow. They don't have any budget for Realtor.com. Look at the stock price of Zillow, right? They're not doing great in, in this kind of a shift. But people will invest in something that works and something that's valuable. And that's why I think we're seeing a lot of folks rush over to Power ISA and help get them experienced, qualified, native English speaking ISA with no monthly contracts, nothing like that. Everything you can do is pay as you go, month to month. You see results, you keep investing. Exactly, exactly. All right, Gustavo, thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you again next week. All right, thanks a bunch, bye. All right, bye.